Brakes are up. Away we go into the first corner and it's Freddie Lingwood but around the outside. Dan Bewley running for the dirt. Is he going to make it work? It's tight into turn three. Bewley just gets there, slams the door shut. Once again, Lingwood hugging the inside, nearly getting back to the front. Doyle's back in third place with Hookham. Oh, nasty crash. Yeah, difficult one, mate. See it again, Chris. Yeah, Dan Bewley's out front. Freddie Lingren there, yeah, it's just, just... I mean, Jason was, oh, yeah, Freddie goes down hard too, but uh, it's just a misjudgment. I don't, I think, actually, the speed that Jason caught Freddie up maybe caught him out a little bit. Freddie's turned the bike quite hard there, but, uh, yeah, it was a misjudgment uh, from Jason, and he gets, yeah, he gets Ooh, collected bike. there by the bike as well. Nasty one. And uh, we have now a decision from the referee, and Jason Doyle is excluded from the rerun to number five as i say he seems to he was quite a long way behind him and there he just catches him up yeah, rapidly. Very quickly. it's almost like he was getting a lot of drive on the bike and very as you say did the bike collect him oh he's tied up with two bikes here we go heat number 10 the tapes are up away we go and young benjamin basso out of heat number two fast himself to the front, Kim Nielsen right alongside him. Oh my goodness, it's tight there with Andre Lebedev's coming through into third place and Martin Vasilik having a tough evening is out the back. Kim Nielsen hugging that inside line. But look at young Benjamin Basso, he's gone wide there, leaves himself vulnerable. Can he get enough grip? Yes, he can. What an effort here from Benjamin Basso. Yeah, Benjamin riding really well, just stretching it out there in the dirt. He's sticking to it. Kim Nielsen working the inside really nicely. Oh, that's going to get awfully close. Basso read that one absolutely perfectly. Got about across uh, Kim Nielsen there. Disaster again for Martin Vashlik, although he's now finding a little bit of speed on the outside, but Lebedev's up the inside. No, Vashlik, oh, he's had to get off the throne. Tell Here you what, we go, Martin here comes Vashlik. Martin Vashlik. Round here the outside, he's gone from last to first. What an effort from him. Had to go for it. Oh, my goodness gracious oh. me, massive crash. Yeah, that was a tough oh. one. Lebedev just slamming into the side of Basso, who had done so remarkably well. Back on with the action now, all oh, movement for Kim Nilsson, but it completely blows the start. It's Hanson once again off the inside, Kim Nilsson coming through, then momentarily into second place, down the outside, here comes Lambert. Lambert round the outside into second place. Now in the middle of the track, Hansen's very vulnerable. Kim Nielsen up the inside. Robert Lambert firing himself to the front, but Hansen rem remarkably, how on earth he hangs on, but Kim Nielsen surges through in the second place. But a stunning move on the opening lap from Robert Lambert. Yeah, Kim Nielsen, a master of that inside line. Matt Hansen now going, oh, that got awfully close. Went around the outside, and Kim Nielsen having to put the brakes on and turn a little bit early as Hansen come across. But uh, Robert Lambert looking good out front, riding high and wide, using the grip. It's not over yet for second and third. Out in front, Robert Lambert is comfortable. He is looking set for another win here. He's looking terrific. Superb ride from Matt Hansen. Smashing battle between himself and Kim Nielsen. Looks like he's going to have another second place. And Matt Hansen is set for the semi-finals as a reserve rider tonight. Kai Uckenbeck struggling at the back there. Heat number 19, we're underway. Great start from Kim Nielsen out of gate two, working a treat. Chop back to the inside for Rasmus Jensen, but no room there. Kovac up the inside. Here comes Freddie Lingham roaring around the outside as they enter turn number three. Very wide indeed. Kim Nielsen blocks the door. Freddie Lingren! Oh. What a move from Freddie Lingren! Stunning move there. Split second decision to chop back to the inside. That's why he lies in second in the World Championship. Stunning move now, Rasmus Jensen coming through into third place but Freddie Lingren, outstanding move. You wouldn't believe he's been down on the deck hard tonight he's feeling it, we know that, we heard that in his interview with Scotty Nichols but uh, wow, where did that move come from? Oh, Pulled that one out of the bag, he read the situation so quickly yes. to ride through that gap. Kim Nielsen looking for a run up the inside, all turns a bit hard there, he's lost his momentum. Here we go then, Freddie Lingren going to win back to rack heat week victories here now all of a sudden Hadn't won a race in his first three, wins his last two. Smashing right there, I mean, crikey. He really dig, dig deep and uh, round the outside, chopped back to the inside and fired himself from last to first. Brilliant stuff from Fast Freddy. Can he 
he make it work now? They go to the first corner and he has. It's tight into the first corner. Freddie Lingwin pushing hard. Mickelson turning up the inside. Freddie Lingwin ruthless out of there, but Mickelson coming through. Now Freddie elects to go to the inside. Really quick decision from fast Freddie Lingwin. Fires himself back to the front. Here comes Mickelson once again around the outside. Lambert now slipping back into third place. Can he get back to second? Freddie Lingwin working overtime in front with Mickelson pushing him awfully hard in second place. Here comes Lambert now. Oh, Lambert forceful up the inside. He was not going to let this one go. He's made plenty of semi-finals this year. He just hasn't been able to convert into finals. And he's going to come under pressure for the rest of this race on the inside there for Mickelson. I think he's got it sewn up. I'll tell you what, you've got to tip your hat to Freddie Lindgren. Finished his heats with two wins. The rain coming down now. Difficult conditions out there. Down the back straight for the final time in the first semi-final. And Freddie Lingren has ridden out of his skin here. Robert Lambert, superb in second place, and they're through. Freddie Lingren looking for the big points, and he's in the final. An opportunist night. Here we go then, semi-final number two. Green light is on, tapes are up, away we go. Jack Holder's made a terrific start. Oh, Bewley out of shape there, that could cost him dearly. Does he recover? No, he doesn't. He's been swamped down the back straight. Leon Madsen coming through in the second place with Frick on the outside. That does Leon Madsen a real favor now. Bewley back into third place. But Jack Holder, who has enjoyed a terrific night of speedway, looks good out in front. Leon Madsen, what a move it was out of gate number three down the back straight, looking solid in second place. Yeah, looking solid, scared everybody entering turn three with a front wheel in the air, a bit like Mickelson, but he's hanging on to it at the moment. I'll tell you what, Dan Bewley hasn't given up, but with the rain coming down, it's too slippery as you go across the slick stuff into the dirt, it's hard to make up ground. And uh, Leon Madsen, I think, just riding calmly around the inside, doing all of the right things, but Jack Holder, Chose gate two, made the great start, riding superbly tonight. Holder out in front, he's going to go through to another final. He's been rock solid, finished second in Cardiff, and he's there again in Voy, and so is Leon Madsen. Home crowd are chuffed to bits with that. They've got a representative in the last race of the night. But for Jack Holder, what a moment that is. Star Marshall's happy, he moves away, green lights on. Oh, movement from Leon Madsen out of gate number three. Leon, he uh, chops back to the inside, but it's Freddie Lingwin gets to the first corner. Now hold around the outside of Madsen, tied between those two as they enter turn number three on the opening lap. Lingwin out in front, now chased hard by Madsen. Robert Lambert is at the back. Freddie Lingwin slams the door shut, but drifts wide. Oh, Here yeah, comes Madsen up the inside. Tight down the back strike. Oh, my goodness, that was oh. close. I tell you what, Freddie Lingwin was a brave man there as Leon Madsen once again by lifting on him just before he gets to the corner. Freddie Lingwin was fully aware of what's going on. He's not going to leave a hole up the inside now. If Leon Madsen's coming past, he's either going to have to drive a hole through him or run right around the outside. Here comes Madsen around the outside. Freddie Lingwin very. Yes, he's done yeah, it. Done Madsen it. storms to the front here in the final, in front of uh, the Danish crowd, down the back straight for the last time. Brilliant effort from Leon Madsen. Freddie Lingwin back in second place, and Leon Madsen wins here in Denmark. What a moment for him. He's going to go straight back into the top six. Delights the home crowd. Oh, what a moment. I know how much this is going to mean to him. I know how much he wanted this. And he rode like that. Absolutely brilliant there in the final. Freddie Lingwin picking up 18 points. Six points the difference now between himself and Bartosz Smarzik as we head towards round number 10. And Jack Holder and Robert Lambert will have to wait for another day for their first Grand Prix win. Leon Madsen, a stunning ride in the final. He picks up a win here in Boyens. Freddie Lingwin back in second place. Jack Holder third and Robert Lambert misses out on the rostrum. But sheer delight for Leon Madsen, the world number two coming into 2023. He's had a topsy-turvy season, but tonight he will stand on top of the box. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant ride, brilliant ride. He had to use all of his experience and track craft coming off statistically the worst gate, gate three. And uh, oh, brilliant ride. He's going to enjoy this. Nicky Pedersen also delighted, of course, winning here at home. It's been hard to do that here. We've only had two Danish winners in recent times, since Nielsen back in the 90s, 2012 for Michael Jepsen Jensen.